Ahoy! So you are wondering how is life with Blue Dog on the road? In short, it's not easy, especially if you have a male wolf dog. If you follow us on our travel, you may know we have a Czechoslovakian wolf dog named Adri, which I raised since he was a small puppy. And actually, Adri is not his real name, at least not fully. The reason is, in order for you to get a wolf dog, at least in Czech Republic, you need to get him from a certified breeder. Because you are not allowed to legally own wolf dog if he has a more than 33% of wolf blood. And how's that regulated though? Uh, I will leave that for another video if there's an interest. But because of that, Adri's full name is Adriel Harley from Wolf Oak Wood. Why so long name? Well, Adriel is the name I gave him and we shortened it to Adri. Harley was name given to him since following the alphabet he is from 8th breed group of puppies. And from Wolf Oak Wood is an English translation of breeding station Zvlci Hodubu where he is from. So if you thought you can get wolf dog just like that, uh, it's not that simple. Nevertheless, my plan was from the beginning traveling with this kind of companion since I decided to do van life. And uh, there was actually a next person we met with Adri that wanted to do the same. So we built a van together and went off on adventure after three years. But traveling with the wolf dog is a little bit more complicated than without one or any other dog. So let's start with negatives. You can't get everywhere. There are just some places where you won't be able to get in with wolf dog, especially in Muslim countries. Like for example Efes or Sumela Monastery. And there are also some spaces that are prohibited for dogs. Although, I was quite surprised where we were actually allowed, only because Adri is, well... He's an attraction of himself. But visiting any city and their services inside the city is always a complication with him. Thankfully, as the introverts, we are spending most of our time outside of cities and inside nature. <laughs> Which brings me to another thing that you need to watch with wolf dogs. Andre like to explore. Okay. Ah, Andre, ne. A lot. Nelestam, nelestam, nelestam. And he like also explore very smelly things. Andrejko, nechaj si starobila latrini. And what's the best thing to do once the wolf dog will find a smelly stuff? I'm like. <laughs> That's right, rub it in or eat it. Especially when people leave their uncovered business, so please take a shovel and do it right. So you have to be constantly aware what he is doing and what he is smelling. Because you have a very limited amount of water if you are not next to lake. And even when you are very often it is not enough to put that stench away. Also having a wolf dog in mountains or where the sheep are herded is very problematic. He could be mistaken for a real wolf and shot. Which luckily didn't happen to us in our travel, but it did almost happen to me in Germany where we went for a off-leash walk. But what happened to us was attack by a mountain Kangal guard dog that is trained to recognize wolf and kill it. If you are interested in that story, click in the description or the top right corner. 
Andre is most of the time kind to the kids, if he's not provoked, and to female dogs and puppies. But since he's not castrated, he's very aggressive against any other dogs. And now imagine country, for example, Turkey, where there are free roaming Kangal dogs, or mix of Kangal dogs, and only the biggest one will survive. Yeah, it was something like a walking in the middle of minefield, where the mines are trying to get to you. And Adri actually got once in the fight we didn't manage to prevent, where he was attacked by three Kangals. So we had to take him to vet, and surprisingly, it was very affordable, at least for us. And the doctor there was fantastic. Therefore, if you need help with your pet in Turkey, we can very much recommend Silla Clinic in Inebolu City. By the way, did I mention Adri is a bit picky with people? When it comes to the females, with most of them he's fine, but when it comes to males, well. We had one situation where, while camping, Adri really did not like this one man that was going to his car. He was not even going our direction. I do not know why, but nevertheless, Adri went absolutely mental and went after this person. The worst part was, that man was with his family. Luckily Adri did not bite anyone, but managed to scare him and the family. The poor guy even fell on the ground and I had to apologize and quickly took Adri away and us from the place. Also another thing is that he is very attached to both of us. <laughs> So yeah, those are the negatives, having a wolf dog and you constantly must keep an eye on him, which can be sometimes tiring. And not to mention to continuously telling him to wait. Adričko, ještě čekej, nechod nahoru. Pomalu, pomalu, ješ Adri, pomalu. Oh yeah, and cats. Oh yeah, and one more thing, for male wolf dogs. If you do not castrate them, they will from time to time challenge you if you are a male. So expect that. Next I guess the things I will be mentioning are not necessarily positive. It depends how you look at these, let's say, attributes. Like, for example, he is digging holes everywhere. Wolf. He likes to swim where he can. Although he does not prefer the hot springs like we do. But still, when you swim with him, you need to be careful so he won't drown because he will try to get on top of you. And he is a very good boy when traveling inside a car. When we camp somewhere, depending how you look at this, he is very protective against anyone getting close to the van. <laughs> the best in. 
even when he is off leash. And if you want to play with him, you have to be careful not to activate him too much, otherwise he will start biting your hands and ripping off your clothes while playing. in Montenegro that we have to double check if someone is inside the abandoned fortresses because he loved to explore those thoroughly and when you give him a command that he is free let's just say you don't want to find him alone there as a stranger <laughs> it is enough to give attention somewhere else and then we ask ourselves where is he luckily he always come back on call so traveling with our bulldog is not always ideal honestly but i wouldn't like it any other way Můžeš tady na tomhle záběru parodovat Andrička. Jo, jo. Já vždycky musím být I hope you liked the video and Hopefully you reconsider or decide based on this video to get your own Wolfdog. Just keep in mind it's not for everyone and you won't be necessarily allowed entry to every country because of having a wolf dog. So you better double check where you want to go if you will be allowed entry with this kind of dog. Because there is a list. Well, I wish you good luck on your journey and until next time, hi.